This is also a big story this afternoon because relief could be on the way now for millions of Americans struggling to afford their medications. Yeah, the White House sharing the first batch of prescription drugs now selected for Medicare price negotiations. This is in an effort to lower health care costs. Fox 9's Rob Olson joins us now. So, Rob, Senator Amy Klobuchar was here at the fair talking about this today. Yeah, and appropriately making a stop here at the AARP booth in the southeast corner of the fairgrounds. You know, today is Military Appreciation Day. Yesterday was Senior Day, and she made that comparison that the Veterans Administration has long been able to negotiate lower prescription prices for their patients, but Medicare has not. But that is now changing. U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar took time to greet fairgoers lined up at the Minnesota AARP booth. And but her main country. purpose for the visit... Many, many years ago, the pharma industry got written into law a sweetheart deal. A news conference to highlight what she sees as a huge victory against pharmaceutical companies and the prices paid by Medicare. Basically, they could charge whatever they wanted, and they did. On Tuesday came the first 10 drugs that Big Pharma will now be required by law to negotiate the prices that Medicare pays, just as private insurance companies do and just as the Veterans Administration does as well. They include widely used blood thinners, cancer treatments, and diabetes medications. The drugs dealing with blood clots and heart disease alone uh, will cover nearly 5 million people. The point, they say, is that seniors on Medicare face co-pays that are sometimes twice as much as those covered by other insurance plans, and often those co-pays become out of reach on a fixed income. The number one reason someone doesn't fill a prescription is because they can't afford it. Pharmaceutical companies are pushing back hard, calling it government price setting and arguing it reduces the profits they funnel into research. A statement from their lobbying group reading in part, the cancer moonshot will not succeed if this administration continues to dismantle the innovation rocket we need to get there. But Klobuchar says they've been ripping off American seniors on Medicare for a long time and spending a lot of money to protect those profits. They have three lobbyists for every member of Congress. So every member, I want you to picture this, has three lobbyists from pharma assigned to them. Now, the negotiations on the prices uh, with Medicare and the uh, federal government begin this fall, and then each year more medications will be added to the list. Part of the issue for the pharmaceutical companies is that then that negotiated price becomes public. Other insurers will know what they're paying, and they fear that that could lead to a constant de-escalation of the prices that they're negotiating. There are currently lawsuits now trying to stop this from happening. Live at the fair, Rob Wilson, Fox 9. All right, Rob.